hello hello my beautiful friends I got a video for you guys today today is a collaboration video um, with some beautiful ladies on YouTube and Instagram I'll leave a playlist down below if I can fix one up for you guys of everybody that's gonna be in this collaboration um, we wanted to do the kind of a new trend that's been going around I don't know if you guys have noticed it or seen it lately but it's the string nail art um, you don't necessarily have to use string uh, you can use a chain or just uh, anything that you think you could possibly you know do with this art I am going to show you how to do it uh, really fast though now I am no pro with this guys this is my first time trying this as well so I don't know how well it's going to turn out um, I do want to create a little bit of art with it so I'm going to be using the Model Ones Africa White in this. And you're just going to paint, I'm just going to paint a really thin layer. Now, I don't want it really thick. Um, I kind of feel like with a lot of gel polish that it may be like really runny. So I'm going to see how it works with a really thin layer. Now you could probably do a lot of multiple things with this idea because um, I can see a few things that you could possibly do with it. But I do think it's pretty cool. But just a really, 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 really thin layer just like this. And you're going to leave this uh, layer wet, okay guys? You don't need to uh, cure this. Um, if you do cure this, you can easily apply a clear layer over top, I would think, and do the same effect. Okay, so I'm just going to set this nail over here, and I'm just going to take a piece of, um, of paper, like, um, this is what I usually have, like, my nail forms on, but you're going to pick out what colors that you want, uh, gel polish. And I'm gonna use my, um, I'm actually gonna use my Vena Lisa. Um, these are really beautiful colors. I really enjoy these. Um, I think I'm gonna use those. And I actually might use the orange and the yellow, I think. Now, here's what's what gonna happen here. So, I wanna make sure your paper's clean, of course. You wanna use the shiny side, not the other side. I mean, you can, but it's, I'm gonna use the shiny side. But I'm just going to take the um, little bit of polish. You're not going to have to use a whole lot, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of set this over here for just a sec. I'm going to pull this nail back over here now. Okay. And like I said, you know, there is probably multiple things that you can create out of this. I'm going to do my best. Like I said, this is my first time, so please don't judge me too much. Because I have no idea exactly how I'm doing this. So, um, let's just try it like this. I'm just going to start right here. Oop, of course I got it on myself and I'm just going to 
try my best to get it all the way like that and so after that you're just gonna pull very gently very slowly don't spool, don't pull too hard all right so there's that one okay so I'm quickly gonna do that one more time I'm gonna wipe this string off Roll it in it real fast. And then, like I said, I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna turn the thing upside down like this. And I'm gonna to try to create a smaller one. All right, so I'm gonna cure that quickly through that but um, I'm gonna take the string one more time and I'm going to put it back inside of this um, gel polish as close as I can get it going to I'm going to be using this stamping plate here and this one is number XL003 and I'm going to use this image right here. Using Menology Stamping Polish. This one is called Turquoise and this one is called Vapor Wave. Don't forget guys, I do have a code for Menology down below for you guys if you'd like to go and check that out and save yourself some money. I'm going to do a um, an ombre effect on this, so I am going to, I think I'm going to do it like this. I'm kind of going to go this way with it. And I am going to use the other color on the bottom half. Just like that. I'm gonna put a little bit up there just to for
that guys so that is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think down below i think it turned out super cute um but yeah i mean like i said it's my first time trying it i thought it was really cool i, I really enjoyed doing it it was super easier than i thought it was going to be um my only thing was you know it's kind of hard to get exact replica of what you do before of course um, but I just want to incorporate all the colors that I kind of used and I love the glitter over top. Um, I did not top coat that. I just left it like it was a uh, sugared nail and then I stamped the butterflies in the middle. But yeah, I love it, which it did smear just a little bit from the top coat because I was trying to float it over and I accidentally touched it a little bit, but that's okay. But anyways, guys, I will leave a link down below of everybody who participated in this collaboration. Um, beautiful ladies that do wonderful nail art. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. Let's be friends and do nail art together. I love you guys. You guys have been so great and supportive. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. I absolutely love the look. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, guys, I do have codes in my description box for you guys to use um, from Maniology and several other places that you can go and check out. But I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. And be safe, stay home, and bye!